Today I'm doing a comparison video of the two main subscription boxes for retro video games. And so I've done a few videos in the past talking about video games monthly. And in today's video, I'm gonna be comparing video games monthly to retro game treasures. And this is a subscription box service as well. And retro game treasure offers three to five video games for 30, let's see here, $36.99. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing a blind unboxing, uh, talking about the games and giving you my final verdict, what I think is a better service. And so here we go. Never looked at this box, do, do not know what I have inside. So, okay. Oh. It's a GameCube game, import, okay. The game came disc only with its original case or a case. And the value of this is 12.98 loose. This is Smash Brothers Deluxe. And unfortunately I'm not able to show gameplay because there is a disc swapping method you can use on a Wii to play imports. And unfortunately, I was not able to successfully be able to do it. But here it is, $12.98. Okay. This is... All right. All right, it's Chima. Lego Chima. And it's Laval's Journey. Okay. This is a 3DS. Awesome. This game came sealed and is fairly inexpensive. It did come with a minifigure and I have a friend that may want this. And here's the gameplay. No doubt there's a ton of Lego games out there, but this one is pretty good. Definitely targeted towards kids and I do believe follows the series. Uh, tons of replayability here. And if you're a fan of Lego games, you are going to like this. Overall, not bad. Uh, definitely something that I probably am not going to play, but you know, I'm going to probably play something more like the Skywalker Saga. But you know what? Not bad. Not a bad pick. Fairly cheap. It's about 10 bucks for the minifigure version of this game, and even cheaper if you just go game only. PS3 Dishonored. Here's the copy of the game I got. Uh, the case was pretty beat up, but the actual game ran fine. The disc was in good shape and the manual was in good shape. I don't have a ton of experience with this game, but I've talked to several people that have. And you know, this definitely is an amazing game from what people have told me. Lots of creative choices. I know that there was an updated version released on PlayStation 4. I probably played that version. Uh, you know, but I did dig out my PS3. I did install this. I try to test each game I get from these subscription services to make sure that they work properly. And you know what? Uh, what I've been told about this game is that the choices that you make in this game impact the progression and it definitely changes how the story unravels and the activities that you do later on in the game. But you know, this is a game I wish I had more time to play, but it looks fun to play, and I know that there's fans of this game. That's it. Okay, three games. Now I'm gonna show you video games monthly, what I got. This is a blind opening, here we go. Now I got the five up, so let's see what we got here. All right, first up. All right, I do believe I got a Goemon. Goemon import, awesome. The cart was in really good shape when I got it. Unfortunately, I had to clean it thoroughly to get it to work. And the US version of this is fairly expensive, but the import is not. You can get this typically under 10 bucks. The value's uh, close to eight. This is a 3D adventure game. It has some characteristics that are similar to 
Legend of Zelda, but you know, it's it's got some platforming, it's got some adventure, it's got a little bit of everything. It's got some good gameplay. Nice thing about both of these services is that, is that you can choose imports, and this is a good example in which the import is a lot cheaper. Cart fell out of the box, didn't look at it. F1 Race. F1 Race was an early Game Boy racing game, and its big thing was the four-player adapter in which you could play with friends, linking up your Game Boys. At the time, it was revolutionary. You know, at the end of the day, this one hasn't aged very well, but for people that grew up with it, it's an all-time classic. You know, this is a game that I like to pop in every now and then and play. It definitely has that reminiscent of pole position, and you know, I think this is a good game. It's fairly inexpensive at $6.40. If you can track down that four player adapter and have some friends to play with, play it that way. Yeah. Oh, GoldenEye import, awesome. Another one I had to clean thoroughly to get working. That is frustrating. It, you know, my system that I'm playing these on is in immaculate condition. But here it is, you know, if you're not familiar with GoldenEye, tons of awesome levels from the movie as well as awesome soundtrack, multiplayer features is where this one shines. The import version is a little bit harder to find, especially in the States, and was really excited to get this import. You can choose uh, what types of consoles you want to get games from from both subscription services and this one is valued at a little bit higher than the u.s version pretty exciting let's look here Ooh, it's kind of hefty <laughs> cyberpunk for the ps4 seal 2077 well when this game came out on certain versions especially the ps4 version it was unfinished and very glitchy and since its release it's had some updates and what's cool for ps5 owners is if you get the ps4 version you can get a free upgrade to the playstation 5 and this is what i did uh, essentially you install it on your playstation 5 and with the disc you can play the updated version which is better looks better you can get this game for well below 20 bucks a much better value now and next up <laughs> ps3 medieval moves deadman's quest unfortunately i can't show you gameplay of this because i don't have a ps3 camera i do have playstation move controllers and a ps3 but you know, typically sometimes with these subscription services, unless you are specific on what you have or what you don't want, you are going to get some filler titles such as this. This is a brand new game and the value is at $5.70, a game I'm probably never going to play anyways. Next up, GameCube game, Hot Wheels Interactive World Race. Always nice to add another GameCube game to the collection as it's harder to find these games in the wild and you know you can let Video Games Monthly know what games you have as they can send you games that you don't have in your collection as I have done and you know this is an alright great game for early kids or if you're a fan of Hot Wheels uh, you know it hasn't aged the best but there's enough here to still go back and have some fun. Maybe you grew up with it and have some nostalgia goggles for it. But, you know, overall, I would prefer something like F-Zero over this. But if you are into these types of games, you may enjoy this one. I liked it and just happy that I got a complete copy in good shape. And this was in excellent shape. Valued at about 15 bucks. So, which service do I think is better? It all depends on kind of what you want, you know. On one hand, Retro Game Treasure is cheaper. I did only get three games. One is a game that I'm gonna gift to a good friend, and uh, she collects Lego games, and I think she'll love that. This is a great playing game, 
and I can play this on a soft modded Wii. So there's that. Um, Dishonored is a PS3 game I didn't have. So three games that, you know, I'm able to enjoy or gift to people. On the other hand, uh, Video Games Monthly, I got another bonus game. Uh, I have already a copy of F1 Race, but that is a System Link game. So I'm gonna keep that copy. I didn't have Cyberpunk for PS4, and it is upgradable using a PS5, so that's cool. Uh, I didn't have many imports for N64, so getting two good games, that's awesome as well. And, uh, you know, the, the, the one game I can't play, Medieval Moves, uh, you know, okay, cool, I didn't have that game. And the Hot Wheels GameCube game I didn't have. So I feel overall the Video Games Monthly was better for me, and the values are above. So comparing the values right there. So it was a pretty one lopsided uh, comparison, but I wanted to share this. I wanna thank everybody for looking at this video. What did you think? What video game service do you utilize or do you not? Do you uh, like to get these monthly boxes and how have your boxes been? What did you think of mine? And if you're new to this channel, I have cover a lot of content from Atari to Xbox. If you haven't already, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's keep it positive. This is the Immortal John Hancock and you have a good day.